Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 2007 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. We have a girls under 16 match just underway in red. The Port Moody Bandits, and they are playing the Las Vegas Empire in the black with the gold numbers. We are at Ed Fountain Park. And we are on one of the two or three all grass surfaces here. You know, they've got the two artificial turf fields up front. Fields one and two. And then the ones here in the back are artificial. Ball out across the back line. We should have a goal kick or a corner kick here for Port Moody, number 13, Victoria Pollard. We'll run the ball down. We'll get you the rosters for the squads here in just a minute. And let's see if it went out on the side or out across the back line. And it was across the back line. So a corner kick early on here for the Port Moody Bandits. We have no score. Just underway first half here. Two 30-minute halves. Kick high into the air. Centered nicely. Deflected once, twice. A lot of activity there. And a whistle. And that's going to go against Port Moody. And quickly, the keeper, Mariah Abeta for the Empire, sends it over to the far side. Nice job getting in front of the passing lanes for Jana Hayes there, number five for Port Moody, and it goes out over on the far side. And the Las Vegas Empire Elite will put the ball back into play. As we said, two 30-minute halves, no overtime, just bracket play here at Ed Fountain. Nice overcast day here, Saturday, the 27th of October, 2007. And actually, some of that is cloud, and some of it is smoke from the wildfires in Southern California making their way up here to Las Vegas. You know, Las Vegas only about a four-and-a-half-hour drive or so from San Diego. So just about a three-and-a-half-hour drive from Los Angeles. Las Vegas, just about 40 miles from the California-Nevada state line. So the free kick there, number three for the Empire. Linnea Elgard. I should say Linny Elgard. And the ball out far side. And for the Port Moody Bandits... Number one is Megan Bernard. She's the goalkeeper. Number two, Jessica Brown. Number three, Kendra McCray. Number four, Sarah Allison. Number five is Jana Hayes. Number six is Larkin Froze. Number seven is Natasha Franco. Number eight, Alex Davidson. Number 10 is Nyala Molum. Number 24, Nikki Phillips. Number 12, Courtney Clark. Number 13 is Victoria Pollard. Number 15, Ali Sikosi. Number 15, Megan Trineman. Number 16, Sydney Clark. Number 19, Sarah Hannigan. And number 21 is Kim Williams. Bill Trineman, Rich Clark, Bill Davidson, Hal McRae. Coaching staff here for the Bandits. And for the Empire, as we see the ball here at midfield. And I tell you, doing the game here is a lot easier. Ball in the middle of the field now, right back up the middle. We were at... The Kellogg Zayer Complex, which is one of the three complexes which are in use for this tournament. And most of the fields there are the artificial surface fields. And we did a game a little earlier. And the one field, one long lengthwise field, was cut up into three fields going the other way for a small. It must have been peewees. I mean, you know, six-year-olds or something like that. And so there were lines all over the field and it was very difficult even for the players out there to remember what was in what was out where was midfield they had all the white lines for the small fields which are going the width of the field near to far and then the length of the field the lines <clears throat> were in red to help distinguish between the different field markings. Number seven there, shoot the ball upfield. Kelsey Priest, midfielder for the Empire. And for the Empire, number two is Gianna Johnson. Number three is Linny Elgard. Number four, Nicole Bradley. 
Number seven is Kelsey Priest. Number nine, Kim Garcia. Number 10 is Ashley Moreno. Number 11 is Courtney Johnson. Number 12 is Mariah Ziegenbein. Number 13, Carly Herbert. Number 14 is Lucinda Luevanos. Number 15 is Abby Rodriguez. Number 16, Megan Blackham. Number 17, Brenda Gonzalez. The keeper, number 18, is Mariah Abeta. And we had the whistle there before that kick. And the ball will be Empire Ball. Number 19 is Erica Escareno. And number 22 is Alyssa Williams. The head coach, Frank Loivanos. The assistant coach is Greg Priest. And the manager is Trina Perales. Ball into the backfield of Port Moody. And number eight gets over there defensively, Alex Davidson. Ball here near side, number 16 with a pass. Megan Blackham and the umpire has to bring it out. A collision there, number 14 is pushed. Vic Ali Sikosi and she's gonna come away with it, pass across midfield. Here comes Port Moody now on the attack from the far side, shot on goal. Scooped up by the keeper, Mariah Abeta. And into the backfield again of Port Moody. Sarah Hannigan gets over defensively. Now here near side, getting to the ball number eight, Alex Davidson again. And a whistle there, the referee saw the contact. And the ball will go over to the Port Moody Bandits. No score first half. Port Moody with the kick. And on one little flick, it's across midfield. Number 13, Victoria Pollard. Now back the other way. Number 16 for the Empire Squad, Megan Blackham. Ball at midfield. Here to the near side. Nice job by the Port Moody defense here. They've, they've had to be on their guard here most of this first half as another ball out onto the field. Still in play, number 10, Ashley Moreno. And finally the ball goes out here near side. Got another whistle. The referee here got a quick whistle today. So that penalty against Port Moody. And the ball in a nice situation here on the free kick will belong to the Las Vegas Empire. Carly Herbert with the kick. It's gonna hit the post and bounce right out. She thought it was gonna be wide. There's a cross. Shot on goal, deflected away. Las Vegas with two attempts right there, and they just couldn't get it to fall. And it's cleared over to the far side. Number seven on the pickup there, Kelsey Priest. That allows Port Moody's defense to get set. And the keeper, Megan Bernard, with a kick up towards midfield. In the circle now. And the ball out near side, number 15. Couldn't save it, Megan Treneman. Ball out of the circle. Oh, collision there. All three Port Moody players, though, collide with each other, so you can't call a whistle on that. Jessica Brown on the... Run down there, far side. Finally gets to it. Oh, 
pretty evenly matched game here so far, although the Empire has really put the pressure on the Port Moody defense through the first 10 minutes of this half. The defense has been there for Port Moody. Now what the red team needs to do is concentrate on seeing if they can push it upfield a little bit better. We haven't seen the keeper, Mariah Abeta, but just a few times here for the Empire here in the first half. Empire trying to spread the field. Coming in deep again, number seven, Kelsey Priest. And her pass upfield is going to be too harsh and it'll roll out across the back line for the goal kick. And now Port Moody with substitutions. Number three coming in, Kendra McRae. Number 15, Megan Trenneman. Like number 11 as well. Megan Treneman with the touch far side. Port Moody again on defense. All in the circle. Number 13 takes control, Victoria Pollard. Long upfield pass, number three defensively gets there for the Empire. Lene Lene Ilgard. Collision, I was gonna say collision, near collision, and it was a collision because you have a whistle. If there was no whistle, there would have been no collision there, but since there was, then it did happen. Free kick for Port Moody. Empire very dangerously with the short passing game trying to bring it up across midfield out of their backfield. And they are able to weather the storm by Port Moody, but the red team takes it. They don't allow the ball to bring across midfield. Shot to the net. Collision. Now it's going to roll back out this way. And let's see. It goes out across the back line. Last touch by Port Moody. And so the goal kick here for Mariah Abeta, the keeper for the Empire. Coming up on the midway point. Well, we got about a minute and a half. We've played 13 and a half minutes here of this 30 minute first half. Ball in the middle of the field. Number eight with the left leg. Rolls to the back line, shot to the net, and that ball will find the back of the net. They drew the keeper out. And Port Moody with the score here, just about midway through the first half. So, Victoria Pollard, number 13, with the score. And Port Moody is on top here. So Victoria Pollard with the left leg just fired that ball right past the keeper, Mariah Abeta. Number eight 
Alex Davidson with the assist. Now coming across the defense with the nice clear away from their keeper, Megan Bernard. And so the umpire trailing by a goal now quickly gets the ball deep into the backfield of Port Moody. And let's see if Port Moody's defense can continue with the strong play here. Moreno here, number 10. Ashley into the middle of the field, number 3. Lenny Elgard. And that shot on goal is going to hit the side of the net. He did hit the side, but really never had a... Or it really looked like it had a shot of going in. And now two substitutions, three, four for Port Moody. Several, maybe five. So substitutions in for the red team, some fresh legs. It's warm here in Las Vegas. Don't let the cloud cover fool you. And it is going to be extremely hot tomorrow. All this smoke and cloud will disappear. We'll be under sunny skies. And this being the last month or the last weekend in the month of October, last weekend before Halloween, wouldn't expect it to be this warm. But it is. The row comes in for Las Vegas. And number 21 there, Kim Williams for Port Moody. Las Vegas into the middle of the field. Now they try to go near the corner on the far side. And Port Moody's defense does another fine job. So the red team with the throw in, and just as they do, it goes off the leg of Kendra McRae, number three. And the Las Vegas Empire will put the ball into play there, far side. We're nearly two-thirds of the way through this first half. Empire moving the ball now. They haven't had a problem moving it. It's just they hit a wall when they get deep into that backfield of Port Moody. The defense has been great for the red team. And the keeper, Megan Bernard, goes up and makes that catch. 14 with the first touch. Alex Cozy. Easy call by the referee right there, right in front of that push to the back, and it's a red ball on the free kick. Just outside the circle, below midfield. One nil in favor of Port Moody here, first half. Victoria Pollard puts her squad up on top. The assist by Alex Davidson. All out here near side, and it is black ball, so Las Vegas ball. Field, so. 
And let's see, as the action continues, a quick whistle. And whatever it was, was against Port Moody. Team number 19 there for the Empire, Erica Escareno. He's up front now, normally a defender. Here comes the kick over to the far side. Empire. I believe number 11 out there right is Nikki Phillips for the Port Moody Bandits. See if we can get that checked out. Number 14 with the touch. Allie Sikosi. Allie now moves out of the circle with the left leg. Her kick's going to be deflected and... Nice use of the chest there, number seven, but she's going to run out of the play, Kelsey Priest. And finally the whistle, and it goes against Port Moody. Empire now trying to make something happen. Two with the pickup, Jessica Brown. Into the 22nd minute, so just about eight minutes remaining here in the first half. 1-0 in favor of Port Moody. And the corner kick for the Empire from the far side. Here it comes. It's going to be a little bit short and cleared away. Number 21 there, Kim Williams. Now it bounces out. Let's see if Port Moody, they could have controlled that right there. They would have had a lot of open range to run, but took a nice bounce for the Empire. And they're able to keep it here in the left half of the field. And substitutions again here. Jenna Hayes, Megan Trenneman, Alex Davidson. And Victoria Pollard now back into the match. We've got just about just over five minutes to go here, first half. Shot on goal, scooped up there by Megan Bernard, the keeper. Nice move there, number 14, Ali Tsukosi. But her counterpart, number 14 for Las Vegas, Lucinda Luevanos, takes it away. Shot up towards the net by number 12, deflected Courtney Clark. Bounce once up to midfield. Header by number nine. Number 19 there, Sarah Hannigan. And number nine, Niala Molum. For Port Moody. Keeper's going to not be able to keep that ball in her grasp. And Molum comes over for the save. So a huge save there for Port Moody as they nearly gave up the tying score. Corner kick for the Empire. Here it comes. Again, just a little bit short. Molum again with the first touch. Shot towards the net and a nice play there by the keeper, Megan Bernard. So 
dodging a huge bullet right there, the Port Moody Bandits. And they still lead 1-0. 26th minute of play. Oh, nearly a handball right there by Treneman. Nice job kept in play by Alex Davidson there, number eight. Collision. People get back up. No whistle. Courtney Clark. And let's see, Treneman, Megan Treneman trying to get there, but Carly Herbert was there instead for the Empire. about three minutes ago and the keeper there she would look like she was out and let's see what a, is she out when she touched that ball and nope they're going to give the goal kick there to Las Vegas as the holdup was just for substitution but it nearly looked as though she caught that ball it was definitely going to go out across the back line but it looked like she was behind it Empire with the save again. They don't want to go down 2-0, especially, you know, giving up a goal now with just about two minutes to go in the half. You know, obviously the momentum will swing to Port Moody going into halftime, but, you know, the score came a little while ago. About, you know, it'll be almost midway through, so about 15 minutes ago. And if Las Vegas can get through the rest of this half, you know, they would have pecked away at some of that momentum and will be able to come out in the second half somewhat even. In a sense of, you know, they can play with this team. Just about two minutes remaining here in the half. 1-0, as we said, Port Moody. All over to the far side, and it will go out. Taking a little while to retrieve it. And finally, here comes the red team with it. They'll have it. Final moments here of the first half. And it looks as though it'll be 1-0 in favor of Port Moody. Unless they can get a quick one here, they're in deep. Priest is there. A whistle. And let's see. That will go over to still Port Moody ball. And before the, anybody can put it into play, there's the whistle and the end of the first half. So... A very competitive first half. We've played 30 minutes. Port Moody Bandits and the Las Vegas Empire here at the 2007 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. And it's Port Moody with a 1-0 lead over Las Vegas as we head into halftime. Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. We'll be back with the second half in just a few minutes.
And we're back here for the start of the second half of this match. Port Moody Bandits and the Las Vegas Empire 92 elite. And it's Port Moody with a 1-0 lead. And they've switched sides. And the keeper there, Mariah Abeta, with the save first off here in the second half. So Port Moody traveling right to left here. Sun really coming out here in the second half when this match started 35 minutes or so ago. I mean, you could have almost predicted rain. It was so gray. High into the air, over the crossbar. That was Nikki Phillips with that shot on goal here from the near side, number 11. Another quick whistle by the referee to start off the half. It'll be a free kick. The wall of defense too wide there for Las Vegas. And an opportunity here for Port Moody to go up 2-0. With the left leg, shot to the net. There's a header. Nice job by number 19. Ball still in play. Open net hits the crossbar. But wait a minute. They're going to say that it had gone out. So Port Moody, Sarah Hannigan with that header. And then the near save. So it's a goal kick here for... I'm not sure if it's a goal kick or if it was an offsides, but... Either way, it goes over to Las Vegas, and they really breathe a sigh of relief there because if not for that whistle, they would be down 2-0 right now. Number 14 trying to get there for the Empire, Lucinda Loivanos. Toria Pollard there. Phillip. Nikki into the middle. Now she's got to try to come back to it. Number nine here near his side, Kim Garcia for Las Vegas. It's going to go off. Nikki Phillips. And Las Vegas ball. So Las Vegas needs to come out here in the first, in the second half and be a little assertive, try to get on the board, tie this one up. Brianna Young, number 17, far side with a couple of pushes. Two games today for the Port Moody Bandits, and they'll have a one more tomorrow as far as bracket play goes. Both games for Port Moody here at the Ed Fountain Complex. Free kick, far side. Nice kick with the left leg on a bounce just outside the circle. Alex Davidson trying to control it there. It rolls out far side and will be Empire Ball. Ball towards the back line, and the keeper goes up high into the air. Megan Bernard makes that play. All belongs to the Empire there at far side. And 
And that'll roll towards the backfield of Las Vegas. Number 14 trying to gain position. Alex Sikosi, it goes out. And it's still Port Moody ball. So Port Moody with a chance to strike right here. Ball into the middle. Cleared out by Las Vegas. Shot to the net. Right into the hands of the keeper, Mariah Abetha. Nice job there by Mariah. Ball out far side. Port Moody ball right at midfield. It'll be a free kick. So evidently we had a penalty there before the ball had gone out. Here it comes. And now here in the second half, Port Moody kind of relying on some long passes. And they had their luck in the first half with a nice, you know, medium passing game. So they do have the one goal lead. And it looks as though they need to kind of just refine the game just a little bit here. And start taking advantage of their possessions. More substitutions in for Port Moody. Empire, on the other hand, you know, they've got to find a way to break through that Port Moody defense. They trail by a goal and really haven't you know, put much pressure on that Port Moody backfield or the keeper, Megan Bernard, here in the second half. Port Moody puts it into play. Block there with her back, number two, Jessica Brown. Nikki Phillips comes out with it. Ball bounces right back to Victoria Pollard there near the back line. There's her cross. Number 14 looks on. Ali Sikosi, number 19, Sarah Hannigan as well. Hannigan now picks it up. Goes back over to Ali. And it's out. Number seven, far side, Natasha Franco will put the ball into play. right down the middle dribbling that ball Megan Blackham and now up towards midfield Empire Priest with the pass she was looking over there for number 19 Erica Escoreno Empire still with the ball now moving left to right and Megan Bernard the keeper is there scoops that up coming up on the 40th minute of play of the 60 minute match 1-0 Port Moody Midfield now here on the left half. Ford Moody, number 15, Megan Trenum with a pass upfield. Oh, and he's unable to control that one there. Nikki Phillips. And again, the ball is out. Now they're keeping it in play. Nearly went out for a third time in a row. Port Moody now. They've got to get back on defense. Number nine, the Alamolum. And 
out here near side, and it is Port Moody ball. So ball into play here. Nikki Phillips, a little flick there, trying to get it to number 16, Sydney Clark. And on the ground, player for Las Vegas, and it looks like the referee wants a to issue a card here. Let's see. Play resumes. I didn't say yellow card come out. Megan Treneman, number 15, battling there with number two, Gianna Johnson. Trenman with the touch. Ball in the middle of the field. Number nine with a nice move right there. Kim Garcia. And again, the ball rolls unharmed into the hands of Megan Bernard. The Alamolam and number nine, Kim Garcia, were battling there in that last exchange. Horton Moody again clears it into the backfield of the Empire. And again, substitutions in for Port Moody. Empire again, trying to get it to Kim Garcia up front, but the defense is there for Port Moody, making it very difficult on the Empire. towards the keeper, and again, Bernard is there. Like Alyssa Williams, number 22, was the streaker there for the Empire, trying to get to it, but Bernard was there first. So this Port Moody bandit squad out of Canada Facing one of the hometown teams, but not the downtown Las Vegas soccer club squad. It helps put on this tournament. The Empire. And number seven with the corner kick there. Kelsey Priest. So an opportunity for the Empire to tie this match. And on the corner kick, Megan Bernard. Comes streaking out of nowhere to make that stab. Megan, you know, she's got some height on the other players out there, and so she's a big force there in front of the net. Good keeper for this Port Moody Bandit squad. Ball over on the far side. Port Moody with the header, number three with the shot and the score, Kendra McCray. What a setup there, taking the shot from the far side and the header, very difficult play there. And McCray puts it into the back of the net, just past Mariah Abeta, the keeper for the Empire. And so with 15 minutes remaining here in the match as we've hit the 45th minute mark, it's the Port Moody Bandits with a 2-0 lead over the Las Vegas Empire. Empire now quickly on the attack, but see, they did this last time. 
in the first half when they were scored upon and were down 1-0. They quickly came back, and then, you know, they just couldn't get anything going. Again, a testament to that Port Moody Bandits defense. Very tough. Cross midfield, number 13 with the touch. Toria Pollard, or I'm sorry, number 13 for the Empire, that is, Carly Herbert. Priest, and she's going to be tripped up from behind by Kim Williams, and the yellow card does come up this time. And it might have come out last time, we just didn't see it, but we saw the referee riding down on her sheet there. Free kick. Straight to the net, and they were looking for number two there, Gianna Johnson, but the keeper again, Megan Bernard, was able to get to the ball. Here comes Port Moody on the run again. And just about 13 minutes remaining, we hit the 47th minute mark, and that shot on goal on the ground, picked up by Mariah Abeta. So by the referee, this time again, against, it's against Port Moody. And, you know, throughout this match, it does seem as though Las Vegas has gotten the majority of the whistles. They just haven't been able to capitalize. And let's see, another whistle. And again, Port Moody is backed up. So, I mean, if you were in Las Vegas, you're not going to be getting too many more opportunities like this. You've got to, you know, at least try and cut this score in half and give yourself a chance later on. As there are 12 minutes remaining, you're down by two, but if you can cut that in half right here, anything goes the rest of the way. Try and get the tie. Priest kick. Deflected off the hands of Bernard, and she makes a dive to her left to save it. And another nice play by Megan Bernard, the keeper for the Port Moody Bandits. McCray tries to get there, but it goes out. And number 17 for the Empire will put into play Brenda Gonzalez. Nice job using her body there, Mariah Ziegenbein, number 12 for Las Vegas. McCray battling there with Brenda Gonzalez, number 17. Gonzalez has it for now. She's pushed into the corner. Can she come out? She's trying. Now she's got two red jerseys on her, and she does to Ziegenbein there, number 12. Number 16, though, takes it away, puts it into the middle. That was Sidney Clark. Ford Moody again on the attack, finally cleared away by Las Vegas. Courtney Clark there, number 12. Off to Jenna Hayes, number five. Sarah Hannigan, number 19. And the ball rolls out across the back line. Run down by number 14, Ali Sikosi, in substitution for Port Moody. And the ball belongs to Port Moody on the far side there. So the Bandits with the corner kick from the far side. Here it comes. A little bit short, cleared out, back to the far side. And they got a lot of room to run here. Las Vegas across midfield. And finally the ball deflected out far side. Still Las Vegas ball as we've hit the 50th minute mark. So 10 minutes to go here in this match. 2-0 in favor of Port Moody. Up, 
please, ref. Thank you. Go. Jessica Brown into the match. Megan Treneman and number 13. Victoria Pollard now in. And let's see, as that ball is put into play, it goes out again, and it's Empire Ball. Or we had a, let's see, it is a throw-in. First they, well, there seems to be confusion whether it's a throw-in or a free kick, and it's a throw-in. They just wanted it to move upfield a little bit further. So a little confusion there. Still Las Vegas Ball, still trying to put some pressure on that defense. They trail by two, and with... Eight minutes remaining. They've got to cut this lead in half to give themselves a shot. Towards the net, Megan Bernard scoops it up. Here near side, towards the net, and scooped up there by Megan Bernard again. Same name over and over. Obviously, you know, Las Vegas getting in there now, getting their shots on goal, but they just can't get past that keeper. Ashley Moreno, number 10. Nice job by the Fort Moody Bandits defense. Pushing Moreno into the corner. Seven minutes to go in this one. And the whistle, and that will go against Las Vegas this time, so a break for Port Moody now, finally. With the left leg across midfield. Well done, Yama. Again, Moreno. And again, number nine there on defense. Niala Molum. All is out. Six minutes remaining now here in the match. 2-0 in favor of the Port Moody Bandits. Nikki Phillips, number 11, trying to make something happen there. She was surrounded by black jerseys. And let's see that penalty against the Las Vegas Empire. So a nice opportunity now for the Port Booty Bandits to really put this one out of reach. I mean, they're up by two with just about five minutes to go. But now that they can go up by three, this one is definitely over. Victoria Pollard, number 13, with the free kick. And she put the nail on the coffin. Here it comes. With the left leg high into the air, over the hands of the keeper, Mariah Abate, and over the crossbar as well. And now here comes Las Vegas quickly, the Empire Priest. Kelsey Priest, far side, runs into some trouble. Jessica Brown there for Port Moody. Brown with the takeaway. Under five minutes remaining now. Ball is out, and it is Port Moody ball. So Port Moody will have the goal kick, and they will put some 
Fresh legs back into the match. Andrew McCray, Sidney Clark, Kim Williams, name a few, coming into the match now. And we've got four minutes now to go here in this one. 2-0 lead for the Bandits. Again, we're at the 2007 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. Ken Gonzalez here for George Langevin Productions. Mariah Abeta again with the save. We're at the Ed Fountain Complex here. One of the three complexes. The main complex, of course, Betty Wilson. Where all the semis and finals will be played tomorrow. Very lovely fields over there at Betty Wilson. And that's the truth. Very green, plush fields. It will be a warm one tomorrow, as we've said earlier. Another goal kick here for Port Moody. Now they just want to play keep away, really, from their backfield. They've got this one in hand, just about three minutes to go. And they have a 2-0 lead. And if you're Las Vegas, you've got to be thinking this one's over because you've had now 57 minutes and you haven't scored once. And so the odds of scoring twice in the last three minutes are probably very remote. But we've seen it happen. I've seen a tying score in the last second. Nikki Phillips with the takeaway. She's going to run towards the back line. 13 on defense there. Carly Herbert. And let's see. I think it's a corner kick. I think it had gone out. And number 13 maneuvering into place here, Victoria Pollard. And if you're Las Vegas, you probably want to help bring that ball back into play. You're just running your own clock out. Two minutes to go. And actually, it was just a penalty, so it's not a corner. It's just a free kick here from the near side. Pollard, the left leg. High into the air. Another header, and it's going to find the back of the net. And they've done it again. Two scores off of the headers. And Port Moody with a 3-0 lead late in the match. Sikosi, number 14. So Allie will put her squad up here. The assist goes to Victoria Pollard off the free kick. And it is 3-0 Port Moody Bandits over the Las Vegas Empire with just about a minute and a half to go here in this match. And so this girls under 16 match will be won by the Port Moody Bandits. Here at the 2007 Mayor's Cup. They're going to try to set it up again and into the hands of the keeper. Raya Abeta. One minute, so unofficially, but I'm pretty close here. There's one minute to go here in this one. Empire with the free kick. Empire coming in deep. Ball will roll and roll towards the back line and go out. And let's see, is it a corner? I think it's a corner kick for the Empire. So Empire obviously at this point just trying to get on the board, get a point. Under a minute to go. Here comes the kick. Couple of touches, it's gonna roll into the hands of Megan Bernard, and there's the whistle and the end of the match. So Port Moody with two goals in the second half, one in the first will defeat the Las Vegas Empire here. Three to nothing, Saturday the 27th of October 2007. Again at the 2007 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. There's the victors there, the Port Moody Bandits. And it's my pleasure to bring you this match. It was exciting. You know, it was 3-0. Good game, wasn't a runaway there until the end. 
And so the Sport Moody Bandit Squad looking to go deep here in the tournament. So for George Langevin Productions, I'm Ken Gonzalez. We hope you enjoyed this match. And until we see you again, be safe and have a great day, everyone.